Now talking about remote sensing systems, what forms a remote sensing system? These are these are the components, all of them. These are the components which are required for a remote sensing system. We need to have A, which is the source of illumination as sun. We need to have an atmosphere through which the radiation electromagnetic spectrum passes. We need to have the surface which, which we want to study. Then we, uh, uh, the, uh, for the interaction of the target and then we need to have a satellite on which a sensor is placed and a receiver is placed which uh, can record uh, the energy uh, and then we have, uh, you know, transmission, reception and processing because the, once the image is captured here by the satellite, it is downloaded at the uh, you know base station located on the earth now what is added this is GPS satellite system another which gives you the positioning of the uh, satellite at the time of capturing the image that positioning information is also you know uh, you know uh, integrated with the uh, in, uh, image that is uh, received from the earth observation uh, satellite then we can we have we can process the data then in f when the process data is used for interpretation and analysis here and based on though uh, you we use software and we use hardware and we use pers people knowing how to use the software and hardware uh, we generate an output based on which may be useful for any application like forests like oceanography like geology like uh, engineering or any other science this is uh, in a nutshell about remote sensing systems now uh, india has more than four decades of space program which was started as early as uh, arya but uh, in nine uh, in nine, 1975 and uh, india is among one among the six nations who has uh, an advanced space technology now uh, the indian remote sensing satellites have uh, advanced in imaging capability from one kilometer to one meter resolution and uh, for the temporal resolution they have attained uh, the um, repetitivity of 24 days to uh, 30 minutes and for mapping uh, 1 million scale to cadastral, cadastral level scale has been achieved and you can see from one kilometer resolution less than one kilometer resolution uh, as on date is available uh, with the Indian remote sensing satellites. This is uh, a look of false color composite. This is a satellite image but with a false color. We will talk about this false color in the coming chapters, coming uh, lectures. This is a uh, list three camera. This is one of the sens sensors of Indian remote sensing satellite list one camera and this is the image captured by this sensor it has a spatial resolution of 72 meters and all you s that you see in red is all vegetation all you see in pink is your agriculture and all you see in cyan color here in between are is the habitation and whatever you see here in you know a linear feature in blue color this is the water body so uh, uh, similarly using list 2 camera camera this 36 meter resolution image has been captured and things remain same almost and uh, list 3 uh, you know list 3 camera having a resolution of 23 meter the things are getting more clear as the re resolution advances this is uh, the hyderabad city and you can see here it is the hussein sagar lake in between a water body in blue color and this is sayan all urban habitation and uh, beyond that you can see whole lot of agriculture now this is the panchromatic single band image with a higher resolution 2.5 meter resolution and this part of the chandigarh city and you can see the red network of roads can be clearly seen with this because the resolution of the image is a little high and this is the wide field sensor camera of the indian remote sensing satellite with a very wide it has a very wide swath but the resolution is not very fine and uh, this is uh, this is a very familiar picture of the indian uh, southern peninsula and the image uh, is of uh, wide field sensor 56 meter resolution this is uh, list 4 image 
of the Ahmedabad city and you can clearly see the resolution is quite high of the list 4 image you can see the road network you can see the uh, playgrounds you can see the you know some water reservoir here or maybe a clarifier of the industry and you can see the agroforestry the urban forestry in between so a lot of things are visible as the resolution advances now talking about some high spatial resolution satellites we have iconos which and quick bird and worldview these are the you know sense uh, uh, satellites which provide uh, satellite images for google earth as well which have a very high spatial resolution iconos quick bird and worldview and this is the Iconos image of Dehradun of the 2001. You can clearly see the grounds, you can see the hedges, you can see road network. Even if you zoom in, you can uh, you would be able to locate the vehicles. You can say see the uh, you know uh, urban forestry, all the uh, you know urban habitation in cyan color and a little bit of grass on the ground which can be seen in a pink color, but the trees can be seen in red color. This is quick bird image, spatial resolution of 2 meter of, an, of a forest.